Well, hello again. Thanks for your company this week. Thanks for joining in these reflections. Again, as I mentioned on Monday, I think, um, if you've got other reflections, if you've got other notions, or uh, if these readings have sparked another uh, thought in your uh, heart and mind and spirit that you think would be useful for, for others of us to hear, please please do share uh, with me and uh, I'll do my best to pass on anything that's relevant or I'll simply sit here and be encouraged by by what you're suggesting. So we've been looking at God's love this week and last week. We've been uh, focused upon and thinking about what that means. And I guess the the kind of um, the fullness of what it means for us to have a, uh, to have received and to acknowledge God's love in our own lives and in our own uh, walk. Uh, the fullness of that is revealed in today's reading. So we're in uh, 1 John uh, chapter 4 and verse uh, 17. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. So this gift of love, this amazing, incredible gift of love that God has, has freely and generously and beautifully uh, given to us is supposed to change us. We can't just be ambivalent about it and think, oh great, I'm loved by God. Ooh, la -di -da. We can't be like that. Uh, we need to. It, it's supposed to change us. It's supposed to make us to be a, a people who who live very differently from the world around, because we we acknowledge and we know the wonderful, uh, majestic beauty of God's love for us. It doesn't mean to say we won't struggle. We won't have difficulties. We thought about that the other day, didn't we? But in the midst of those difficulties, we can still acknowledge God's love, and we can still live in the power and the light of that love. Now. There are some people around who, who, for whatever reason, don't understand God's love, not accepted it, not heard of it maybe, uh, and not received it or, or not living in it. So how can they be helped? Well, that's where, uh, it's part of the, the, the ways in which our duty comes to the fore. The, the very end of, of verse 17, did you catch that? Um, in this world, we are like Jesus. So friends, if you're somebody today who's accepted God's love, who's received the gift of God's love that I was talking about the other day, who's opened up the packaging and, and delights in, in the gift that God has given us, if you're somebody uh, in whom the Spirit is at work, then we are to be like Jesus. We are to show the world what uh, Jesus has shown us. We're to reveal to those who don't know or who, who choose not to uh, accept the reality of Jesus. We're to be to them Jesus himself. That means we're to love them, whatever they're like, however difficult that might be. I'm pretty sure that you and I are quite difficult for God to love sometimes. Well, I can't speak for you, but I do know I am. But whatever people are like around us, we are called as uh, God's people, we're called to, to show God's love. And so we're to be like Jesus. We're to give ourselves up for those who um, are around us. God has placed you and I in, in, in the places where we are right now. And part of the reason for that is because he wants us to shine like lights for him to the world. We're running out of time. But hold on to that thought. Um, uh, in this world, we are like Jesus. So how will you allow that to be translated in your life today? Let me pray. Father, thank you for all that you've blessed us with. Help us to be a blessing to others. Help us to be like Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Um, have a good weekend. And uh, I'll be back next week. Take care.